Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the updated Bema 100N uh, home roaster. So, where should we start? Okay, well, there's the sample spoon. And in order to get to use it, you put it in here and you dip out some beans. and put the beans back in. Here is the charging tube. And that's how the beans get charged. The tube holds about 170 grams of beans now, uh, more than the previous edition. And if you want to roast more than 170 grams, uh, you would have to charge the tube twice. We've got, uh, this is new, they have a viewing window, and it's floating, well, you can see that, it's floating in this, there's a steel plate underneath the door. Now some, an unusual feature about this updated version is the bean cooling hangs up on the door. So you need to open the door to get the, book, the bean cooling tray out. And what this ends up doing is this prevents cooling and roasting at the same time conveniently. Now there are some workarounds to this. Uh, one is you can rest the door up against here. But it's not, it's not really cooling that well doing that. The second option is to dump the beans in a colander or a uh, remote type of cooler and finish it off. Or you can just wait. The cooling is not that fast. It's, uh, eh, depending on how much beans, it's plus three minutes to get them cooled down. Uh, next, let's take a look at the thermocouple. This is a feature that you will see on other roasters produced by this company. The thermocouple can slide out for cleaning. And that's a five millimeter thermocouple. This I believe is, is half inch pipe. All right, next let's take a look at the gas controls. So let me stop the video and uh, turn the machine. Here are the gas controls. We're gonna take a look at how they operate. And that's the sparker, that's low, and this is high. There's really very little adjustment between high and low. And of course you have off. The, uh, the gas connection is 3 8 inch tube. It has a um, K-type thermocouple plug. It heats up pretty quick. It'll heat up like in five minutes. I, I've been using, I've been heating it up on low, but I suppose you could heat it up on low for five minutes or so and then go up to high. Um, it's kind of a basic thermometer and uh, definitely upgradable. I found that uh, at 200 C, it only read in whole numbers, which is pretty inconvenient. So there's a lot of options for it. One of them would be to upgrade to one of these Mastex 6514, and you could data log, or 
you could find a fairly inexpensive um, digital thermometer that would read intense and uh, just make it more convenient but it's definitely usable just the way it is um, all right so let's look at the uh, some of the other features on this side here's your air control and that goes one to five the uh, shaft tray and underneath here is your your tray to catch catch tray for the bottom of the roaster all right let's look at the back side next okay here's the rear of the uh, machine they've upgraded the motor it has a Lovejoy connection here um, this is the integral switch where there's a fuse in here just basically on off this is where the uh, carry handle goes don't take the screws out just leave them the way they are the exhaust fan is down here and it takes a three inch pipe Just your standard pipe. That's about it on this side. Let's turn it around. Okay, again. we're back on the right side of the machine. The bean cooler is vented also with three inch. And there's a access door here for vacuuming out chaff. So that's about it for for this video we'll do another video uh, with that actual roasting and talk about talk about the performance of the machine uh, I'm trying to think what else I can say about it it's easy to lift and move around um, and it can be run with a uh, one pound camping propane cylinder adapter and I've got one down there in my bin.